Today, we are just going to start off with text to image. And this fruit market has come to me and said, hey, we need a poster. And I want uh, Firefly to show me some concepts. So I'm just gonna do fruit market poster, okay? And I'm gonna hit generate. I am now going to see tons of examples here. Wow, how pretty are these already? Um, I'm gonna do portrait because I do want this to be like a long poster and it could be, you know, printed, it could be put up somewhere. And then uh, potentially graphic. Tap this to open it and you'll see all these different styles. You can click all and that's where you're gonna get all the different styles. Uh, color and tone. I'm feeling like a vibrant color. So I'm just gonna generate again, give me something a little bit more specific. See, yeah, this is, this is that stuff that's hitting for me right now. I'm gonna refresh one more time just because I do wanna get like one more little. Okay, so I'm kinda loving the one all the way to the right. Okay, so I'm just gonna choose this one, but I want uh, the brand to have something that's more realistic, right? So I'm gonna go right back in here go back into our generate. And now I'm gonna go to square, photo, and one of the first kind of fruits that I'm really seeing is an apple. I put apple in here, right? It's giving me apple pies. I want an I apple isolated. Look at that. Boop, boop, boop. Got our fruit. Go ahead and remove background. Boom. So basically what I'm doing, as you can tell, is I am just recreating this image. So let's go blueberry, peach, raspberry. Interesting looking little fruit plate. I like this one, to be honest. So let's see if this will actually remove. Oh, wow. We have got our leaves in, which is nice. I feel like I've kind of put them all in in the way that I think they seem kind of fit. I see some green beans in here. So let's get crazy with the green beans. So I'm just gonna pull the green beans up to the top of the layers. So I am pretty much just downloading them and then I go to my downloads here and then I just drag it on over and then place it on top of Photoshop and then it's ready to go. So we're gonna grab an orange isolated and you'll notice I keep putting isolated in there um, just because it's really important for me and for it to understand that that's all I want. I'm just gonna do something pretty interesting. I'm just gonna check out if we can find this font anywhere on here because I would love to see if we can utilize it. So basically I'm just gonna type. Oh see this one's pretty cool. Imaginary friend. Um, so I found my type, um, so I'm gonna go into Express. Okay, so I'm just gonna go up to start for my content. We're just gonna go ahead and open up our PSDs in Express. And look, all of your layers. And the font the stayed, font. and it's, it's here. It's the same font. Is it live? Yeah. It's editable? It's editable. Get out of town. I wonder if I can, do a little text effect to this. Let's see, fruit. See the little fruits in there? Yeah. Isn't it so cute? Yeah. I mean, you guys hopefully get the gist of these amazing opportunities that you can really uh, experience within Express, within Photoshop, within Firefly. And remember that we're in commercial use. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> Take care, everyone.